so this is the window that's broken and we called somebody and got an estimate on replacing just the glass and it was going to be five hundred dollars so a whole new window is cheaper than that heck both windows are probably cheaper than that so alden has took today off and he is replacing this window for us and then when we go buy the new window i think i'm going to get some paint for our front door so not sure which color yet we're gonna go with but this is our front door and here's what it looks like from the outside so i'm thinking we're gonna paint this front door and then paint along these windows then leave the frame white so not sure what color yet i'm kind of leaning toward blue the blue color and painting our shutters blue or i don't know maybe a gray an armory black i'm i have no idea i'm struggling so help me out guys it'd be these shutters and then we've got some shutters on the garage over here and then upstairs in the bonus room we've got shutters there so don't think they're shutters yeah we don't have shutters on those doghouse windows i don't know what those are called doghouse windows well, i call them but we do have shutters here, so we would have to paint those shutters, those shutters, I'm trying to show our address, then those shutters. I'm gonna go look. I don't even know if we're gonna do this. I'm sure Flash will help. Are you gonna help me paint? You gonna help me paint? <laughs> so yeah, I think that'll look good. And then this is a digital keypad to unlock your door and the batteries are dead, so we need to get this fixed. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something Okay guys, officially welcome back to my channel. I know I didn't start that out like I normally do. When I was editing this back, I was like, what am I doing? But I know I had just got done voice over and so it was almost like I went from one video into another and I didn't really open it up but welcome back so glad you're here you guys know I've told you that the guy that mows our yard he ran over Flash's dog lead and through the hook through the window through the blinds and through the curtain so we had two companies come give us an estimate just to replace the glass it was going to be $500 a new window was around $250 so we just put a new window in it matches it's just the same it's a little off it might stick out an eighth of an inch farther than this one but you don't even notice it so we were like just put that in that's fine with us it saves us that much money so Alden took the day off was doing that for us we go to Home Depot and Lowe's in a few minutes finally found the window that would work I also grabbed some paint for the front door so y'all see how that turns out and then after all this I go to my mom's and I do some more painting over there so stick around it's a whole day of projects getting little things done although at the end of last night I felt like what have I even done I was so tired but I was like what have I even done to be tired but as editing this back I was like it's just because I go 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 I don't sit down to even eat I know Heather brought in pizza and I grabbed a piece out of the box and I was eating that as I was helping Alden put the new window back in so I don't even slow down it's good for me that I don't and a lot of you have said take a break rest take care of yourself and I know downtime is good but downtime is not good for me if I sit around my blood sugar goes up I just snack and eat so if I stay busy I'm way better off also I had a few of you say that the guy that broke the window should have to pay for it the mower and he did offer he lives in our neighborhood super nice guy goes above and beyond to spray weeds do all kinds of things for us that he doesn't have to and it was an accident we always get that up 
off the ground and we had forgotten on that day so I guess he just didn't see it the grass was a little tall and it was not his fault at all accidents happen and if we had not had the money to replace it we would have kind of split it or took him up on it but we had the money to replace that and I'm not gonna hold him liable for that it was an accident and it happened so we were gonna take care of the window although he did mow our yard a few times and wouldn't take the money so I guess he kind of worked it off but it was not his fault at all to Home Depot and to Lowe's with Alden to help pick out a window. I figured he would need help loading that and I wanted to look at some paint for my door. I really love the color my mom has but we went to Home Depot first and that's where I got the paint because I thought that was the only place we were going and I was trying to match it up because I bought my mom's paint at Lowe's. So I was trying just to use my memory on what color blue that was. And I ended up with a blue that was a little darker than my mom's. I think it's a deeper blue and more of a navy blue than my mom's. Almost has a little bit of a teal color to it. You'll see in just a second. I do show you guys the color on the paint can, but I was looking at countertops also because y'all know I'm fixing to paint my brother's cabinets and he's wanting new countertops. And I just thought I would look just to see what they had in stock and to see what that color blue would look like against that. And I think that would look really good. Let me know what you guys think, but I think that'd look really good. When I went to get the paint, I asked her what kind of paint I should use because it was a steel door. It's an outdoor door. Door, even though we have a storm door cover in that and a covered porch I wanted to make sure I got a paint that was going to hold up well and that's what she suggested we use my mom's door is painted just with the paint that I used on her wall so if that paint doesn't hold up well I will go back with my paint and paint her door there's not that much of a difference in it you wouldn't really be able to tell there was any difference so if that doesn't hold up that's what I'll do I'll go back over it with the paint that I bought for my door I bought a quart and I barely used any of it and that quart of paint was $27 so it is a little pricey but I wanted to make sure it was going to hold up well. Also found some paneling for my mom's wall. I thought it would look good on that little corner wall. She loved it when we looked at it in pictures, but when I brought it in, she was not impressed. So, What's up? Mother. See if you like this. It looks good in here. You've done a good job. You like that blue? Mm -hmm. I got some for my front door. What do you think about this on the bottom of your corner wall here? What? Turn it around. Hey, Will. Hey, Autumn. How you doing? Chelsea. Hey, Autumn. How are you? Right. You like that? Uh, for the living room? For right here. No, not really. I thought you liked that Wayne's got. Well, that would be good in the dining room, but. Like for the bottom? Yeah. Do 
from the first time I saw ya You were not like the others A cool kind of melody My mom is so darn particular. She drives me crazy. But question, does anybody else's man get in a mood when they do home projects like this? I'm so thankful I can turn the volume down, add music, and you all don't hear the conversation because he was a grumpy pants. I told him, I said, do as yourself. I'm going to paint the door. So he did holler at me and I did help him from time to time, but I just let him be. And I was just telling myself, be thankful. He offered to do it. That was very nice of him. He's helping us out. He's saving us some money, but he was so grouchy. I don't know what it is about home projects that makes a man so hateful. I don't know if yours is like that, but I can even remember my dad being hateful when he would do stuff like that. And yes, it gets frustrating. And I know, trust me, I just redid my aunt's whole house. I know you could get aggravated at things, but geez Louise, he was in such a mood. I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah, yeah You found a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah, yeah To get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer when you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. had all kinds of spider webs and just dirt and things like that on the outside of the door so I just took the broom to that brushed all that off and then I sprayed that down with the zip window cleaner it's my favorite hands down beyond the spray away I love it it does not take your breath it smells like spearmint love it does such a good job so I wiped the window down good with that and the door because I wanted it to be nice and clean before I started painting and I'm sure you've seen I had a lot of little helpers there I had the cats in it and Flash was trying to get in it too but Alden had hollered at me and I was back in the bedroom to help him try to get this window out the builders that put this window in nailed them in instead of screwing them in so we had a hard time getting this out and the glass was broken and every time i hit on it or pushed on it i was afraid i was going to put that glass in even more of a bind and break some glass out but we finally got that out and then we did get the new window up i know i don't really show that but it's not complete. The siding's not put back where it goes and the trim and all that. So the window is in there, but it's not finished completely at all. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another
Jumping out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I don't wanna slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I a little paintbrush just to get in those little fine places the little narrow places like in between the doorknob and the window and the lock and all that and then I trimmed out the glass and some of the edges with just a paintbrush then I went in with a roller because I didn't want all those paintbrush marks I just wanted it to have a nice smooth finish so it turned out really good when I first started painting I was like what have I done I hated it I kept saying I can always paint it back white or black whatever but it just was so teal and it doesn't even come off as teal as it was on camera but it was so teal blue and I was like that is not the color I was going for at all but after it dries I really really like it and when the doors open it just goes really good with the grage that's on our wall and let me know what you think but I'm thinking just to give it another pop of this color in our house I think it would look good to paint that around our fireplace our tv just that strip that goes all the way up to the ceiling around our fireplace i think it might look good this color let me know what you think about that too i love hearing your guys input you all give me the best idea the best advice and i know that i do not comment back a lot of times and i don't even really heart it sometimes but a lot of times i'll be painting and my mom will read me the comments or heather and i love them you all are so sweet i love that there's so many new people here thank you so much for being here i know i haven't told a lot of you guys that but i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart you're helping feed my kids put one through college all that you just don't know what it means to me that you take your time to watch me let's hope that draws a lot different
At this point, it was around six o'clock. Allison had a school dance, so I had just dropped her off there and I headed on to my mom's. So y'all know I had ran out of paint, so she had went and got more and I wanted to finish up this wall especially because I drew that smiley face and I know that's probably not her thing. I know that was probably back in her, but I wanted to go ahead and get this finished up. My dad asked me to paint this strip right here that I'm painting that you see right there. He said he thought that would look better blue rather than walking in and that being white standing out and not blue matching that wall. So I said sure and I went ahead and painted that. Then Heather went ahead and rolled the light gray what I had trimmed out for her and then we moved on to the dining room. We pulled out some of the cabinets and her hutch from the wall and went ahead and painted that. I do need to go back in and trim those walls. If I'm painting with two different colors, I like for those colors to dry before I edge out the last color to meet up in the corner if that makes sense. I was here just getting as much done as I could and we had brought our little kitten Daisy to play with Kobe, my mom's kitten. They are brothers and sisters and they love to play together. I know if you guys have watched my past videos, you've seen them play around and wrestle and they are just so cute. Today is Saturday. I'm voiceovering this this morning. So as soon as I get done voiceover and I'm going to hop in the shower and get ready and head back over there and try to get her dining room done. After that, I'm going to move on to my sister's room, I think, while I'm waiting on my brother to get all of his stuff together for his kitchen. And she has picked out some wallpaper that she likes, but it is so expensive. And my parents are on a fixed income and they're raising this 15 year old little girl they've had her since she was nine months old but i don't really think they can afford to buy that right now so i think i may just paint and maybe paint some designs on her wall like the wallpaper she's wanting i'll insert a picture here of something that she's wanting but i think i can do that much cheaper than 150 dollars that's just real pricey for them right now after buying all this paint and doing their kitchen and all that so those things add up and when you're on a fixed income i know a lot of you are so a lot of you know what i'm saying it's just a lot to do all of it at one time oh, still And share my devotional with you guys and I had someone ask why I don't always read the verse that it's referring to and sometimes I do if I have enough time at the end of my videos I'll put that in there if it's a long one sometimes I don't my devotional is a different version of the Bible every day I personally read out of the King James Version Bible but I know there's so many out there and if there is another one that helps you understand scripture better I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all but today's is blizzard of responsibility and if you want to read in your own Bible that's Hebrews 4 9 through 10 have you ever experienced a blizzard snow comes down so fast that you can't see through the thick blanket of white flakes the wind howls about, blowing snow in every direction. As the intensity of the storm continues, the fluffy whiteness begins to pile up. 
first in inches, then in feet, until everyone is stuck where they are as the blizzard seemingly rages out of control. Have you ever thought about the fact that our lives are similar to blizzards? Responsibilities come into our days much like these snowflakes. Some days it's like the beginning of a snowstorm with a gentle stream of tasks. On other days, it's like a blizzard of responsibilities that pile up. Just as God is in control of those blizzards, He's also in control of our lives. He cares when we feel overwhelmed. He's given us a sweet promise of rest. Spending time in His Word and turning on some calming worship music can take us from feeling stuck in a blizzard of craziness to a blizzard of sweet joy. Why is balance important for you? How does taking on too many responsibilities affect you and those around you? There are some days I wake up and I have so much on my plate and so much to do on those days that I could just cry. I don't even want to get out of bed. I think I'm going to be exhausted. I'm exhausted before the day even gets started. But a lot of that mainly is the dread. I know looking at my schedule, Kennedy starts playing ball this Friday. There are also multiple days that Allison has volleyball games on those same days, and I'm torn. Kennedy doesn't live at home anymore. I don't get to see her play as much as I will Allison when she has home games. I really need to take advantage of those because it's just an hour away versus if she's in Alabama or Florida or 10, 12, 14 hours away, I can't always be there for her. So I'm torn. I'm also torn with Allison playing travel volleyball because I know where that's going to take us and Lexi's going to have a baby due in the middle of all of that craziness and will I be at home will I be here or there how am I going to do it all and it just all seems overwhelming I'm so thankful that I have a village if I need Alden to go be with Kennedy or Heather to go be with Kennedy or when to stay with Allison and watch her while I go watch Kennedy or whatever, I know that I have people to rely on. I don't know how single parents do it without any help. I can watch movies or shows or whatever and if there's single parents that struggle and are late getting their kids to school or they just seem to have those struggles and during those times I remind myself how truly blessed that I am to have the help that I have. If I needed my mom to take Allison somewhere or Lexi to stay and be with her or whatever I have help and it makes those days that seem impossible feel within reach. So if you have a village, if you have those people that are in your life that will reach out and help you, family or not. It's such a relief to have that. If you know somebody that needs that help, reach out and help those people. You don't know what it would mean to someone just to say, I'll run her to practice or I'll run this here for you or I'll go to the grocery store and pick that up or whatever. Blessings come in all shapes and forms and just the smallest of things would be such a blessing to someone. I know that they would because I experience that every day myself. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this day-to-day -day crazy life of mine. I feel like I'm torn in so many directions as well. I'm trying to get my mom and dad's house finished as I can as I have time for it and do some things at my own house and then plan for others. I'm enjoying this so much. I love helping others. I love doing home projects and I just feel like God has blessed me with the best life right now. As crazy and hectic as it is, I wouldn't change a thing. But remember guys, I love you. Jesus loves you so, so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.
something more than this I think I am ready For doing some changing Oh God There is something I know